seriously it is action packed. I think you're just trying to wear me out. So we have 14 exercises. Um, I won't run through them to start with. We'll just get cracking on with them and I'll just go boom, 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 all the way through them. But obviously we'll do a good warm up first. Um, keep your weight to hand and I'll shout whenever you need it. Um, and if you need to run off and put some more water in it, then feel free. So let's get you warmed up to start with. So we're just gonna go squat and press. Starting nice and catch. And after the next one to each side, then you're gonna bring legs down. So squatting sides, twist at the waist. Lovely job. And then bring the arms out and swing them across the front. So swap in, left goes over right, right goes over left. Last one to each side. And then you're going to reach up and touch down. So you're going to bend your knees slightly as you come down. And swap to the other side. So reach up, touch down. Last one. And then bring your hands in front of you. And you're going to take your bum back behind you and thrust your hips forward. So keep going with that swinging forward. Grab yourself a mat. And then speed that up, so you're going nice and quickly, forward. Good stuff, and then take the arms out wide and touch down, opposite hand to foot. Come back up to standing, and then you're gonna take one leg and just swing backwards and forwards. So you might need to hold on to something to balance. If you don't, then get your arms swinging as well. And then you're going to take your leg across at the front. And the other leg, get that one swing in. You can balance, get your arms going. And then across the front of the body. Good stuff. And then squat and raise. One more to each side, then we're going to squat and kick. So squat and kick. Last one to each side, and then just gently jogging on the spot and punch your arms forward. And overhead, punch forward, and overhead, final time, overhead, and then place your hands on your shoulders and roll them around. Keep your feet moving. And back the other way. Good stuff, right then. So we're gonna get cracking straight into Spotty Dog. So we're not doing anything for long. We've got 14 exercises twice through. Spotty Dogs are like that. So off you go. So legs going straight out behind. Arms are nice and strong. Five, four, three, Two, one, and then skipping arm circles. So just nice and light on your feet. Tiny little circles with your arms, make sure they're not all floppy, and keep changing direction. And back the other way. Three, two, one, and we're going shuffle, shuffle, kick, shuffle, shuffle. Come across, get down low, kick that leg up. Good stuff, five seconds. Three, two, one. Down to the floor, push up. So get yourself shoulders over wrist and lower yourself down. That's halfway. Three, two, one, sit back on your heels. 
And then come up to standing. Now, this is the first time to grab your weight, whatever you're using. I'll join you and use my drinks bottle. Make sure the lid's down. Don't squirt it all over your living room. And we're going up to one side, down to the other. So reach out to one side, twist, bend the knees as you come around to the side. And make sure you're looking the way you're going. Same sides. I'm going to have to grab my, my weight, my drink's coming out everywhere. Up to the side and down. Nice and dynamic, nice and speedy. Get those arms working hard. Three, two, one. So place the weight out of the way so you're not going to trip over it. Down onto the floor. Straight into a V crunch. So your hands are facing forward, just behind your bottom. You can put them there to really support yourself, or you can just come up onto your fingertips for a little bit of balance. And you're extending yourself out, bring yourself in. If you want to see how well you can balance, you can always try taking your hands off the ground, see if you can still do it. Excellent. Keep on breathing, nice and steadily. Heart rate should be coming up nicely now. Now stay down low for the next one after this in four, three, two, one. Onto the floor, mountain climbers. Shoulders over wrist and run those legs in. Quick, quick, quick. Good stuff. Back halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Up onto your feet. So we're going to do squat. Raise the leg out to the side. Coming down like that. Raise the leg down to the other side. Raise. It's just the little squeeze. So you're not swinging the leg like this. Squeeze. Little chance to catch your breath. So try and get that squat nice and deep. Coming down and up. You can walk back to the forwards. You can turn around. Three, two, one. Now I'd grab your weight again if I were you. Drink bottle, but whatever you're using. Lean back until you can feel your tummy muscles holding you. If you put your hands on your tummy, you'll feel them kick in. Grab hold of your item and you're twisting side to side. If you want to make it a bit harder, raise your feet off the ground and come down a bit lower. Good stuff. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Staying down on the floor into a plank position. So you can be on your knees, but drop your hips if you are, or on your toes. Up you come and tap opposite shoulder. So keep your hip bones placed down towards the floor so you're not rocking kind of side to side. And just tap your left shoulder with your right hand, right shoulder with the left. Excellent, well done. Bring the energy up again in a minute. In three, two, one, up to standing. Now we're lunging back and hop. So lunge and hop. Make sure your weight's not in the way to trip you up. So lunge back and hop. Drop, hop, drop, hop. Keeping the upper body nice and upright all the way through. Should be feeling well in the swing of things now. Change legs. Get down nice and deep, drop that knee right down, 90 degrees, and up. Doing a great job. Two, one, back down on the floor. Now, hands are facing forward again, like they did with the V crunch. Get your shoulders over your elbows, over your wrists, and you're doing a tricep dip. Now, avoid just thrusting the hips up and down, the elbows need to bend. Muscle on the back of your arm here is doing the work. That's it, push yourself up, breathe out as you come up. If you wanna make it harder, you can add a little leg kick in, little jaunty leg kick. Work at your level. Good stuff, just hug your arms around, give them a stretch out, and then back onto your front. 
Now for this one, shoulders again are over your wrists, hips are over your knees, tuck your toes under and come into a little hover. You want your neck in line with your spine, so looking down towards the floor, drive your heels back. We're staying in this one longer than all the other exercises. That's halfway. Last 15 seconds. Hang in there, literally. Last 10. Three, two, one. Ease it out. Take a stretch. Good stuff. So as long as your drink or your weight is feeling heavy enough, we're going to go through again. Just take a quick slurp. Second set, a little bit longer on each one. Same exercise, so you know what to expect. So just give shoulders a bit of a shrug round. Catch your breath. Get us ready for spotty dogs. Off you go. You can move around, change the scenery, walk it back, walk it forward. Have a bit of fun with your spotty dogs. Great work, 10 seconds. So we're skipping to little arm circles. Four, three, two, one, into a skip, tiny, tiny circles. Keep changing direction with the arm. Great work. Next up is a shuffle kick. Keep going with the arms for now. Keep skipping, keep the energy coming. 10 seconds. And four, three, two, one. Shuffle, shuffle. Make it a big high kick now. Get that foot above hip height if you can. Get yourself down and kick. Brilliant, keep it going. Nice big wide shuffle. Kick that leg up high. As you're flicking something off the end of your toes, something nasty. Five, four, three, two, one. Down we come for push ups. Either on the knees, like that, or up onto your toes. Take your choice. Halfway. And 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Sit back on your heels and then come round for a V crunch. So hands behind. So that you can support yourself on your fingers. You can go hands free or you can have your hands behind. It's a little bit of balance. And you're opening yourself out and then coming into a little V in the middle. The harder you want to work, the further you go out and come in. If it's hurting your back, just do small movements. Super effort, keep this coming. We're halfway on the crunch. Straight into mountain climbers in this one, so straight into more core work. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Roll over into your climbers. Let's go. Driving the knees up towards your chest, up towards your chin. Keep your bottom down nice and low. Ten seconds. 
second, six, five, four, three, two, one, little stretch, and then come up, grab a drink if you need one quickly, and then straight into it, squat down, raise the legs. Now halfway through, we're going to go double pulse, not quite yet. So it's double squat, double pulse. I'll tell you when. Keeping sure, making sure this upper body stays upright so you're not slumped over like this. If you need to, you can take your hands behind or up. Are we ready? Double bounce, pulse, pulse, squeeze, squeeze, pulse, pulse, squeeze, squeeze. It's the balance one with this one. You can tap down between like I just did there if you need to. Squeeze, squeeze. Last one to each side. Well done. Down to the floor with your weight. Rust and twist. So lean yourself back. Relax your shoulders, keep your chest proud, and twist inside to side. So look the way your shoulders and your weight are going. Your drinks bottle. Lift your feet off the ground if you want to make it a little bit harder. Good job. Keep that breathing coming nice and steadily for the last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, good stuff. Now, one of the exercises we didn't do in the first set, so I want to do fully warmed up. Doing it now, sprint on the spot. We do it now, then we do it again at the end of the set. Go. Get those knees up, get those arms pumping, nice and close to your body. Make it count. Give it some beans. Go on, we've got this. Let's do it together. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Down into your plank position and tap in the shoulders. So down you get, bum nice and low, drive the heels back. Tap left hand to right shoulder, right to left. That's halfway. And last 10 seconds. Then we're coming up for a lunge and a hop. Four, three, two, one. Just take a little stretch and up you come. So dropping that back leg down, take it back and hop forward. Drop it and hop. Good stuff. Now, if you're alternating with these, keep going. If not, change legs. Last five seconds. Getting ready for tricep dips. Two, one, down you come. The hands behind the bottom. Bring your bum up and remember it's elbows bending to lower you down, not the hips just go up and down. Try and squeeze your elbows in towards each other. You can add in a little happy kick. That's good. So close, almost two sets done. Last 
Last 10 seconds, then we're going to do our second sprint. And then we're coming down to that hover plank. Three, two, one. Final sprint. Up on your feet. Get yourself ready and go. Really go for it if you want to make it more of a high knee sprint. Or if you want to make it low down sprint, you can do low, low, low. Up, up, up. Mix it up. Move around. Change direction. I'll tell you when we're in the last 10 seconds. And although you're already sprinting, you can do a sprint finish that's even faster. Imagine that finish line. You're going to pit pit at the post. You're going to beat everyone. Run along as I do. Are you ready to change gear? Picture that running circuit. 10 seconds, go! Striding out to the finish line. Tip your chest over. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Well done. Down we go. On to all fours. Catch your breath. Get ourselves composed. Curl toes underneath. And push yourself up. Drive your heels back. Hips down towards the floor. Bottom low. And hover. Bit of a challenge after sprint finish to come to a pause. So nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we were holding this one a little longer than the last one. Coming up to halfway. And last 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Give you a countdown from six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Well done. Sit yourself back on your heels and take your legs nice and wide. So all I mean is take your knees wide so you can sit your bottom right down. And relax all the way down. Come down onto your forehead. And just take some nice deep breaths in through your nose. And a longer breath out through your mouth. Just work through a few cycles of breath. And then bring your legs together. Slide yourself all the way down. Pull your hands away from your feet. Make yourself really nice and long. And then just gently ease yourself up onto your forearms. And then we're going to bend leg at the knee and take that leg over the other side of your body. Just tap it over. Don't worry if it won't go too far. Bring it to the centre and the same with the other one. And again, one each direction. So bend the leg. Hip just comes off the floor. And the same on the other side. That's it. Lovely job. Roll yourself over onto your front. Pull your knees into your chest. Just hug them in tight and tuck your chin up. Hold yourself up into a small ball and gently roll side to side. You've survived. It's all done. Drop one leg down. Bring the other leg across your body. Just gently tug it over one side. Do a nice stretch through your waist. And do the same on the other side, take it over to the side. And then slowly come up to a sitting position and bring the soles of your feet together. Grab hold around the toes and then sit yourself up nice and tall. You should feel a stretch through your inner thighs as you sit up tall. That's it. And then just cross your legs however you feel comfortable to sit. Hands on one side and reach over. And then come all the way around. Same on the other side, all the way around. Once more. And then just bring your hand across the front of your body. You should have a lovely glow from top to toe now. Brought our own summer, 1st of July, our own sunshine. Grab one hand, reach over. And the other side, let's grab those cheeky triceps, stretch those out. Lead over and the other one. And then bring yourself up to standing, however you feel comfortable coming up. 
And then if you take hold one hand behind each leg, so you've got opposite hand behind each leg, and pull nice and firmly just above the knees, feel stretch through your back. And then bend your knees, just put your fingers under your toes and just bend and stretch. That's good. Join your hands together. Come up to standing. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Good stuff. And then bring your heel up towards your bum. Keep that supporting knee nice and soft so it's not locked out. And then do the same on the other side. And then we're just going to do a good old stretch of the calf. We did a lot of jumping and bouncing today. So take a big step out behind you, push your back heel down into the floor and reach up tall, reaching ahead of you. So make sure you're not arching back, just reach straight ahead and then drop the back knee down all the way to the floor and sink forward. And then change legs over, so sink forward on the other leg. And then push yourself up so that you've got the back leg in. And reach up tall. And finish off bringing one leg out, so you've got a straight leg in front, bent leg behind, and lean over. Keep your back nice and flat. Change legs. Take both arms down, take a big deep breath in. And exhale, big deep breath in. And exhale, and finish. Stand up, nice and tall. 